Hey guys, Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage News. So excited to be talking about Rage in the Cage 34 coming up on January 16th, 2015 at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market. And we are here tonight at R1. R1, of course, is sponsoring our pre-fight interviews. And it just so happens that R1 is your home gym. So tell us what makes this gym so special and why do you call this gym your home? Um, so many good fighters that train with here. I think this is um top gym in the state. Um, a lot of good gyms in the state, but um, we're training at several of them, but I think this is the top one. We got the most high level fighters, I think, without a doubt. Um, the, we got the most UFC and like Bellator quality fighters here, and um, but no one has an ego here, everyone's so nice and helps everyone, and that's why I like this gym. So, well, I tell you, I love R1 as well. They always open their doors for us for pre fight interviews and contract signing and, and all of those things. So, we definitely appreciate you guys and so thankful that you're always there for us and Rage in the Cage and we have partnered with you guys. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, the fact that, you know, you've had fighters fall off cards before. And um, speaking of contract signing that we did here at R1, this is the first time Rage in the Cage has asked even the amateur fighters to sign contracts. So, has that kind of given you a little bit of confidence going in this fight and that you don't have have to worry about that quite as much. I mean, we know injuries happens and things happen where people, you know, fighters have to fall off the card. But has that given you a little bit of confidence? It makes me feel a little bit more um, confident that at least they'll show up. Nothing's worse than making weight and then not getting a fight. So, yeah, I hope that. I, I think there'll still be some people who will still not honor the contract, but um, I, I think it'll help. Yeah, and I hope it does. All right, well, let's talk just briefly about um, anything you want to talk about your, um, w you know, what you put into fighting and what made you want to be a fighter in the first place. Um, I started, actually, I started watching, just, just started watching UFC and, um, I, I, you know, I watched like back, like a lot of people, the, the Holy Gracie days and I saw the film and so I started off with just doing some jujitsu. That's really all I did for a while. It was kind of a hobby and then, um. I don't know, I just kind of want to get more competitive with it. Um, I moved up to the Oklahoma City, um, started training at this gym, and been wanting to get more competitive with it all. So, so where are you from exactly? I'm from Duncan, so south of here, about an hour, 15 minutes. So what brought you to Oklahoma City, just your training or something else? Um, college and training, combination. All right, sounds good. Are there anybody um, out there that you want to thank, any sponsors as we move on? Um, yeah, I think my coaches, I think Matt Grice, um, of course, he's like a, more than a coach to me, he's like a personal friend, and um, I feel really confident, um, you know, he's been at such a high level, and he can relate to me and my style, so I'll definitely have to thank him. I'd like to thank my jiu-jitsu coaches, Jerry Card and Aaron Dodson, and my striking coach, uh, Matthew Price, I'd like to give them all a thanks, and then my family for the support. All right, well, thank you so much, and come out and support this guy for Rage in the Cage 34, happening January 16th, 2015 at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market. Tickets are still available from any fighter on the card. Ticketstorm.com from Big Dick's Roadhouse in Yukon. You can get them at Party Galaxy or at the weight room in Oklahoma City, and we really do hope to see you there.